Hallelujah, Jesus. To be here, Lord. To seek your mercy. To repent for all the wrong things that we've done. And we come before you, seeking your mercy, O God. To truly be anointed. To be sought in the presence of God. Holy Spirit of God, we invite you. Come and tell it to us. Come and fill this place. Fill our hearts. That we may experience the Spirit of God flowing into us. The mercy of God flowing into our heart. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Come into us. We sing together.
the contrite and the broken heart, Lord, doesn't reject. Let's come before Him with that broken heart. Tell Him, Lord, I'm not worthy for your love. But I need you, Jesus. But I need your mercy to grow into me. I need you to heal my brokenness. I need you to heal my family. I need your mercy to guide and guard me. I need your love to protect me. I come before you, Jesus. I repent. So all that I've done, not pleasing to you. I'm sorry, God. But I need your mercy, Lord. Hear my plea. Hear my prayer this evening. Come and heal us. Take away our brokenness. Bless our hearts. Turn with your love and mercy. Turn into our hearts. Surrendering ourselves. We will begin mercy challenge. We will sing and pray together. Surely God will pour out his mercy on each one of us present here. We call upon him. He will come. And he will join with us. He will fill us with his love. He will fill us with his mercy. Let's begin the chapter.
Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 17 to 30. Let's hear the word of God. Mark chapter 10, what happened? You want to do it? Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 30. And as he was setting out on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Could teacher? What must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You have one thing. Go, set all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away so sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, See, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house, or brothers, or sisters, or mother, or father, or children, or lands, for my sake and for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses, and brothers, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. We heard a rich young man coming to Jesus and asking him, what should he do to inherit eternal life? Let us be our prayer this evening, my dear brother and sister. What should I do to inherit eternal life? This young man knew Jesus was a prophet. He was the son of God. So he could help him to help him to reach eternal life. He knew Jesus says he came to give us life and abundance. John 10, 10. Jesus says he came to give me a new life to the fullest. He comes to Jesus asking for eternal life. Let us ask God what should I do not to inherit to come into your kingdom? Be with me, Lord. Guide me. And help me to inherit eternal life. 
John 13, 3 says, Jesus is the light, the truth, and the way. We need to follow him to reach God, to reach heaven. How do we follow him? We need to leave behind all that we are clinging on to, all that worldly pleasures we are holding on to, and we need to follow Jesus. Jesus tells the young man, go sell everything and follow me. Lord of God says the Lord is pleased when the young man comes and asks Jesus, what should I do? God loves him, God smiles, he invites him to follow him. This young man was clinging on to the riches of the world. Let us offer ourselves and think what are we clinging on to this world? What are we clinging on to the things of this world? How can I follow God wholeheartedly? Let us tell the Lord, I need you, Jesus. I need you every moment of my life. Help me leave behind all that is not from you. And help me, Lord, to follow you. Let's sing to the Lord, say, Lord, I need you, Jesus. I need you every moment of my life. I need you in my office. I need you in my family. I need you in my church. I need you when I go out with my friends. I need you whatever I do. I need you, Lord, to be with me. I need you, Jesus. Lord, I need you. Thank you. 
probably didn't have the grace to ask for the right thing. Many times, my dear friends, we don't have the grace to ask for the right thing. Let us ask to that in silence. My God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God's word says he will satisfy all your needs when you follow him. Take this word for our lives until God has said he will take care of all our needs. asked God what will I get? All that he had was a broken boat and a net. Yet that was his livelihood. Yet he left all that and he followed Jesus. But he received hundred forms in abundance. We heard the gospel of Mark. Whatever you leave God and come and follow him, for sure you will get it back hundredfold. But whatever I cling on to this world, it will be a loss for me. It will be a loss for me. But if I follow God, I will be blessed hundredfold. Let us claim this word to our lives this evening and ask God's blessings to go into us, into our families, or to our children, or to our parish, or to our friends or to all those who ask us to pray for them every moment. Let us seek the blessed assurance of God and let us sing together.
Jesus said, leave everything and follow him. He went back sad. He couldn't sell all his riches. He couldn't give away the things he was clinging on to. He went back sad. He lived a sad life. And he had a sad death. His life ended in a disaster. Instead of God, I don't want to go back sad tonight. I want to be filled with your mercy and joy and love overflowing in my heart. I want to take home your love, O oh Lord, to give it to my family, to give it to my friends. I open up my heart, O oh Lord, for your mercy to flow into my heart. Just like a woman who broke the alabaster jar, she broke the jar, both the ointment and the feet of her Lord. And there was fragrance in the room. Let you and me drink the alabaster jar, my dear brother and sister. Let there be fragrance in our church, in our home. Let us break the costly things that we can be on to, the pleasures that we can be on to. Tell the Lord, I want to break it at your feet. I only want you, God. You are everything to me. When you are with me, nothing that I lack in my life, O Lord. I shall be happy always. I shall be filled with joy always. A heart will overflow, O Lord, with love. Tell him, God, I pray that joy tonight. Let us offer the third ticket and we pray. So 
Psalms 91 14 says, God will deliver those who love Him. Honey will protect those who acknowledge His name. When we love Him, God protects us. And when we know His name, He protects us, He delivers us. Let's pray this out to Him. Tell Him, Lord, I love you. Lord, I acknowledge your name. Lord, I call upon your name every moment of my life. Jesus, come and be with me. Guide me. Heal me. Guard me. Protect me, O Lord. I claim this word for my life, O Lord. I claim this word for my family. I claim this word for my friends. Lord, I love you. Jesus, deliver me. Lord, I acknowledge your name. God protect me from all the things that is going wrong in my life, from all the things that is giving me trouble, from all the people that are giving me trouble in my life, from all the things that is not working right. It is all for all those brokenness to God. I tell them, Lord, acknowledge me. Deliver me from the troubles. Deliver me, Lord, from the temptations. Deliver me, O Lord, from all the things that I'm caught up with. Even if I do not want to do it, I get trapped into it. God help me. God deliver me. God protect me. It is your love that I seek. It is your mercy, O Lord, that I want. It is your grace, O God, that I need. Just like the good thief, give me your grace to ask for the right thing. So I pray. And I receive it in my life. Anything that is created in this world can never fill the heart of man except the infinite love of God, says St. Thomas Aquinas, whose feasts we celebrate today. Nothing can fill the heart of man. No matter what you have, what you do, nothing can give you pleasure as the infinite love of God. It's only the love of God can make you happy forever and thereby we can reach, we can inherit eternal life. Let's sing love of God, let's sing the hymn, loving God, tell him that I love you God. The power of your love of God, I need. Thank you. 
Lord, your spirit leads me, Jesus. By the power of your love. Thank you, God, for giving us this moment to worship you, to be in your awesome presence. It is your grace that we are here in your presence, O Lord. Praying for your love, for your mercy. We believe all that we prayed. We have received. You have blessed us in abundance. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We sing the last again of Divine Mercy Chapel and we conclude our prayer.
closing prayer, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us, and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments, we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Let us offer our families and pray the consecration prayer to Sacred Heart. O most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Thou didst reveal to the Blessed Mother to Mary, Thy desire to rule all the Christian families. Be called in order to please Thee. We stand before Thee this day to proclaim Thy full sovereignty over our family. We desire henceforth to live thy life. We desire that the virtues to which thou hast promised peace on earth may flow in the bosom of our family. We desire to keep far from us the spirit of the world which thou hast condemned. Thou art King of our hearts, by our love of thee alone, with which our hearts are on fire, and whose flame we shall nourish by frequent reception of the Holy Eucharist. Be pleased, O Sacred Heart, to preside over our gathering together, to bless our spiritual and temporal affairs, to ward off all annoyance from us, to bless our joys and comfort our sorrows. If any of us has ever been so unhappy as to fall into the misery of displeasing thee, Grant that he may remember, O heart of Jesus, that thou art full of goodness and mercy towards the repentant sinner, and that the heart of separation strikes, and death enters our family circle. Whether we go or whether we stay, we shall all come meekly before thy eternal degrees. This shall be a consolation to remember that the day will come when our entire family, once more united in heaven, shall be able to sing of thy glory and thy goodness forever. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the glorious Patriarch of Saint Joseph walk safe to offer thee this our act of consecration, and to keep the memory thereof alive in us all the days of our lives. Glory to the heart of Jesus, our King and our Father. Amen. Sensiamos 
Vivi, vivi, se atrevi a zidit, se gula, 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 se